Hello guys, Gamer here. Palettes this a uh, 2.0.0 is now out, and it's a very exciting update. For those who don't know yet, it used to be Mountain Loader. If you have not used this mod before, never installed it at all, and you're just installing this for the first time, you should be good to skip to the timestamp down below. If not, in your update, I recommend sticking around, especially if you use Vortex. This is an important announcement. Do not do anything yet. Follow my instructions. Even Vortex users will have to remove it manually before installing it. <laughs> um, or removing it. So, let's go ahead and get started. First, things first. Even Vortex... Let's go ahead and back it up. So, you're going to go to User Data. And take these two files. Hit Control X. And then Control V inside of a backup form. All right, that's it for the backup. From here, if you use Vortex, you are safe to go ahead and use Vortex to remove the mod using whatever method you. Do not start the game yet. I will let you know when it's safe to do so later on in this video. Want? And for users who are doing this manually, just enter the Metal Loader Mods folder and delete the DLL for palettes, and you should be good to go. From here, you're set. Now time to install. Now if you're a Vortex user, obviously install it using Vortex. That's the best policy and I'll get to you in a moment. If you're installing it manually, download the zip, extract it. Make sure you unblock it of course by clicking properties and make sure it doesn't say block there. Um, you do that to the zip before you extract it. Then you take this beep and X folder, you copy it and you paste it in. All right, now this is where we're caught up between both of us. Vortex users, I should have said do not start the game. Hopefully you did not start it because there might be some configuration settings you may want to change before you start the game. You're going to go in here, check and make sure that it is in here. You should see palettes display. And check your config. Now, if you loaded the game, you'll probably see a folder in here. But if you haven't, then great. You should be set for a moment. Palettes display config. You're going to want to open that up. I know it might be interesting to open it up in game, even though it does, is an option now. But here, if you want to change some settings, change back to revert, open up your old config, and make sure all these two match what you used to have. Now, there's two new config settings. This is why I said it's probably best to do this before you run the game. One, you can change the reloading supported items key. Now, I'll get to that more in a moment. And two, you can change where your pal items are found. Um, this will create the directory for you. So you should be fine. From here. So what you want to do is just set your directory. If it doesn't create it, you can always create it later. But it should when you start the game. This is where your pal items will go. And actually, we can create it manually even. So I want it to go to... I don't want it to go to config. <laughs> I just have it to config by default for reasons. <laughs> I'm actually gonna make. I'm gonna bring this palettes display items folder. And actually, you'll notice too, it's now called pilot items for default. But I want to bring this over and paste it in right here. Then I'm gonna copy it. So now all my products are here. I'm going to actually make that 84 for now, just because. So, and that'll be for the future. So there we go. Now I have it. Now I'm going to go to the config file and change this right here to that, just like so. So now I'll be looking in this file path instead of the default config palette items. That is important if you want to easily back up your items or just use a custom directory. From here, after you back up your items, JSONs, you may start the game again and be safe to go. Back up your items or just use a custom directory. You can use any directory, I believe. I'm not 100% sure how this works. I'm not sure if it has to be within the BeepNX folder or if it has to be in the game folder or whatnot. But 
you can now set your own config path, which is nice, especially if you move folders and stuff around. You can set where you want it to go. So that way, again, I can't tell if you can put it on our disk, but if you can, that would be great because then you can put it on our disk and not worry about space. But either way, I'm not worried about space, so I might put it in my BBNX folder, but I don't want to config because that's one step, one step too far. All right, so now we're going to start it, the game. And I'm going to show you that it won't create that config file because I changed the path. Now, if the path wasn't there, it would also create it. <laughs> All right, so now if we go to here and go back to BeepNX and go to config, you'll notice there's no file in here because it doesn't need to create it because it already exists here. All right, so now that your now if you haven't added the items yet, you want to add back your items now. Um, if you use default, you do not need to worry about it because default items actually get made anyways here. As you can tell, it has the video and everything for me, so... <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, so now we have that. We have our eggs and stuff like that. This is where the new stuff comes in. So now from here, we have it installed. Here is all the new stuff. So we're going to hit continue into our safe. You're going to notice that nothing's broken because it's all found. Um, Ignore that. That is because it's not the proper item. So we have 197 oil. Now let's say I want to make it 180. This is the cool part. I remember if you go below the max, it used to be when you saved and came back, it'll be, you'll be losing items. Here's the cool part. So we have 197. I'm just going to go to 100. All right. So do not save and quit. Do not quit the game. Do not do anything. Because if you do, you'd be losing out on some valuable money. Um, especially when you're going below the, the the amount you have on the pallet. Or if you're removing the item completely. And I'm going to show you both of them. So here, if I reload, you'll see, please wait, reloading items. Jesus, all the items go disappear and despawn for a second. And they'll come back as brand new. As you notice, I just got paid. That is because this can only hold 100 now. I got paid for the difference of the items so that way i wouldn't lose money on these so be just like if the customer came in and bought it now if you decide to remove this product for whatever reason let's just say you remove it completely from the safe again do not reload the game do not save do not do anything because if you do you'll be losing out on money press f3 again everything's funny you get paid for the removed items the tag will despawn automatically, and all these will get back. Now, it won't happen if it's boxed or anything either. It has to be out here on the sales floor if you want the money back from it. I did that, so it can be, it's easier now because now you don't have to empty the pallets anymore. Now, if you choose to not use the reload key and decide to go the old method, you will. This way, it's easier. So let's say, for example, I wanted to remove cereal for whatever reason. There's 120 of those things, by the way. I'm going to get the... I'm just gonna, I guess I know it's product ID number 33. I'm, if you want to see more, there's a video down below to the... Um, there we go. There's a video down below the, that shows you how to do this stuff you just use the reload key instead so let's say i just wanted to remove cereal for example for whatever reason i'm gonna open this up and add a new line just for now as temporary reasons i'm just gonna have to remove it this works for this section too so if you remove a product from the json we're going to go ahead and reload. See, we still get paid for the amount that we lost. And of course, the tag will despawn and will come back like so. So, while you're removing it or whatever, it all comes back to you. 
uh, money wise as long as you're using the hot reload function mm. which by the way you can change in here for easy if you want to change the key faster in here allows you to change the key so you can do f2 for example i didn't reload the game you have to reload the game i still have to figure that out but once you reload the game it will change The thing. I mean, too, you can also reload it just for fun. Um, if your products aren't going on properly, you can always press it again, but it shouldn't do that if you press updating it like that. But if it, you say you edit it off game real quick and loaded the game up, and it's coming on the palette weird, you can just press the key and reload. It doesn't hurt anything because it's actually updating the palette, which is nice. So, yeah, th that's changed. Again, there's a video down below to the last version but it still applies to this all you do instead of quit and save and re-enter you just press f3 so you just gotta keep that in mind so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one all right guys thank you for watching um i worked so hard on these videos um here is the previous video we can watch the previous video here is the recommended video from youtube here is the, the playlist to the series that is currently playing, and hit subscribe. See you guys.